Hello there, Betty. How are you? All right. Betty is 81 and has just had surgery to replace her knee. On this busy ward, managers know it's vital they have enough nurses to meet each patient's individual needs. Well, they're all fine anyway, so there's nothing to worry about with those. That's great. And now all hospitals in England are getting new guidelines on staffing. There's no set minimum, but if there are ever more than eight patients to every one nurse on a ward, bosses should check whether care is being compromised. It's very important that the patients obviously have the reassurance of the staff that are looking after them, that the staff themselves are not overworked and put under too much pressure. Until now, it's been up to hospitals to set their own nurse staffing levels, but the government doesn't want a repeat of the mid-staff scandal. So patients who receive poor care will be able to prompt an investigation into staff numbers. If a patient has to wait more than half an hour for pain relief, if they're not helped on a visit to a toilet or they're not given enough to drink, all these things should act as red flags and trigger immediate action by hospital managers. The NHS advisor says it won't set minimum staff ratios because every case is different. If you think about some different examples, perhaps an elderly patient, say with dementia and a lot of things wrong with them, is going to need a lot of nursing time, whereas somebody much younger, say in for a routine operation, needs much less. So the guideline sets out a whole range of different things that need to be taken into account. The nursing union has welcomed the guidelines. If we want to make sure that our patients get the best compassionate care that they can whilst they are in hospital, we need to make sure that we have the right numbers of staff. So we need to put the finances into getting those staff rather than finances dictating the numbers of staff that we have. Making these changes could cost the health service £200 million, but those in favour say the NHS can't afford to be unsafe morally or financially. Rebecca Barry, 5 News.